Maverick number one. This is actually the one that I didn't mind. <clears throat> I remember this one. It just smells like laundry detergent. So it's like, it's the most smells like soap soap. Okay. okay. So I'll give you that. You get like kind of bad, but this is the only good one in my ranking. Uh, enjoy. Okay, no. Uh, I, that's that's really pleasant compared to the last one. <laughs> like, already, uh, yeah, this kind of smells like laundry soap, so I mean, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. like soap soap, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's not... That's bad. Yeah. Ocean Breeze. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. It's yeah. supposed to be Ocean Breeze, but it just kind of smells like game to me. Yeah, actually, that's a good, yeah, game. Yeah. Game. yeah. yeah. That, that's not bad at all. So we have one that we like. Yeah. That one's not bad. <laughs> Just one. That one? Okay. So that's the same one that I said was okay. This would be the one that I don't mind using. The other's not so much. All right, friends. I decided to record this one the night before rather than, you know, sounding horrible when I first wake up and starting this project. But I did our random spinner yet again. And we came out with Maverick, the original, as in the first one. The one that I said smells the most like actual soap. So, I'm not dreading this one, but much like the last one, it was, you know, it kind of dried my skin out. I'm kind of hoping we don't get a repeat of that. I'm kind of hoping that's just a, a that specific one issue, you know? This is the one that I could honestly see myself using the entire bar because, again, it just smells like, you know, laundry detergent or something, so it's not really that big of a deal. But, uh, I guess we'll find out how good it actually is because, I mean, you know, the last one I didn't think could be worse uh, once, you know, it's like, used once you actually get it wet and scrub it into like a washcloth and everything i didn't think it could possibly get any worse than what it actually just smells like regularly and then it got stronger so i have a distinct fear that that's what's about to happen with this one that i'm going to enjoy this up until the moment i have to actually use it and then it'll somehow get much much stronger i don't look forward to that but again I'll check in periodically to uh, keep you updated on the situation. The next recording should be after I've obviously used it, like I did with the last one. There's a stupid science to all of this, kind of. But either way, that's, that's the one we've selected. That's the one we're starting with. And this is what I live with. I'll see you guys in the next installment of this video. Eight hours later. Okay, so this is the follow-up. My theory about it getting stronger once I actually, you know, got the bar all lathered up, 100% true. It did get a lot stronger, just like the last one, and I kind of figured that. This was different, however. Uh, the last one just kind of got stronger in its terrible, like, wood and OJ smell. This one... <laughs> It smelled more like soap, but somehow produced a second scent in the process. And I think it has to do a lot with, like, how it was made. Um, after using it, it kind of smells like suntan lotion. I don't know why, but I'm definitely getting just, like, just suntan lotion. Just, like, like SPF 30 or something. I, I couldn't tell you why. Uh... I just know that, like, that's what's coming through. It's, it's weird. It is definitely weird. Not the worst. I can deal with suntan lotion. I, I can 100% deal with suntan lotion. However, that being said, I've only been, you know, out of the shower for maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. But much like the last one, I can already kind of feel my skin drying out. There is no moisturizer or any kind of hydration in any of these soaps apparently so i don't know what the thought process behind that was like obviously if the soap dries out your skin you're going to use some kind of lotion but most lotions have like a scent to them so you're just going to cover up what already was there i don't fully understand like 
what the thought was with that, but then again, I don't know that there was a thought with that. So, yeah, I don't totally get it, but this one was definitely, as predicted, not the worst. Um, it's surprising, I will say that. Uh, I didn't expect suntan lotion. I expected more laundry soap smell, but no, I got I got a little bit more of that, and then it kind of immediately kind of shifted. So it was very, very odd. And, uh, yeah, that's where we stand right now. I'll do another one of these in a couple of hours so I can get the full effect of having this on most of the day and uh, let you guys know. But so far, much like the last one, the scent is not the hardest problem. It is definitely the fact that it's, like, drying you out. So, this is... I would not recommend this if you have sensitive skin. And I kind of do. I Like, if I shave, I have to use sensitive skin shaving lotion. Otherwise, it's horrible. It itches real bad. Uh, I even have to use, like, a aftershave lotion specifically. Because of how sensitive my skin can be. Because otherwise, it itches and it burns real bad. So, this stuff is not the best. So, yeah. It's, it's not the best for someone who has sensitive skin. Um, I'm definitely feeling that. This is the reason why I have to go every other day. Because after the first day, I felt it. I was just like, no, this is... Yeah, so tomorrow I have to use... I have a specific body wash that's like all hydrating and stuff. So that will fix a lot of this. But uh, yeah, as of right now, I definitely... I feel dry and I don't like it. But apparently that's a thing with all of them. But this one in particular, like I said... Smells like suntan lotion. I don't know why. And again, like the blocks are really heavy. They don't wear down easy. So I guess they were designed to last for a long time. So, you know, I guess usage wise, I guess I'll have to do a video on usage wise to see how long I get out of it before it like breaks down entirely. I imagine a good while, but you know, maybe we'll put that to the test too after this test, after all this. But either way, that's the installment for this part, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next part. Eventually. Okay, so, day two, or the second, whatever, I don't know. This is after the first two video parts, parts of video? Audio thing? I don't know. This is not professional in any way, shape, or form. But, uh, first off, I only just got around to editing the first video. And I realized that I suck with the tiny microphone and I need to quit fucking with it. Because, uh, I sound really bad. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that, by the way. Didn't know that I was screwing it up that bad until I started editing it. Wow. Uh, the first parts of this video might sound just as bad. But hopefully from here on out they won't be that bad. Apparently, the microphone on that recorder is incredibly sensitive. Didn't know that. Did not know that. Moving on. Uh, the other part is the intros. I, I kind of addressed it in an editor's note, but yeah, I, uh, I didn't think that I would need more than one microphone to record that session, and I guess technically I didn't. It just kind of sounds like I'm on the other side of the room while everybody else is right there. Uh, a testament to the little snowball microphone here. It picked up really well, everybody but me. So, with the technical issues addressed, uh, in the most horrible way. Let's get on to the most important part of this video, which is, how is the soap? Well, like I said in the earlier parts of this, um, it definitely smells better than the other one. In fact, this is the one that I said in the unboxing video that I liked the most. Uh, this is the one that actually smelled like soap. And... Yeah, there is that weird little side effect that, for some reason, using it also kind of made it smell more like suntan lotion. I don't really know why. But it's not terrible. It's not the worst. I can definitely say that. Uh, Scent-wise, that is. The rest of the problems that arise with this tactical soap are still there. Um, my skin feels extremely dry. And I really haven't been doing, like, a lot of stuff that would make that happen. Like, if it was going to happen, it would have happened yesterday. 
Uh, Sunday, I spent most of the day out doing yard work. I mean, after we had uh, lunch at a family member's place, I came back and did uh, some work in my yard. But that was also the day, the off day, that I wasn't using, you know, the tactical soap. Uh, and one would think that being out in the sun that long or, you know, being up and around the yard and moving around and doing that would be the thing that could cause dryness. But no, no, that was not the case. It's literally just this soap. So while it's, uh, while it's not the worst smell and weirdly enough smells like sunscreen, which does like have hydration stuff in it in order to prevent like sunburn doesn't it isn't that how that works isn't there like a thing to that isn't it kind of like a lotion where that kind of stuff kind of goes together or maybe i'm just stupid but i don't think i am i think i might be onto something with that this somehow manages to smell like that and do none of the things that sunscreen does so i guess uh if you just wanted to smell like sunscreen um then the original Maverick is totally for you. And it only just clicked with me uh, why that's um, not just a thing, but also kind of uh, funny, is, the, of course, the incredibly homoerotic volleyball scene in Top Gun. <laughs> so, uh, I may, is that why it smells like sunscreen? <laughs> is, uh... I, I don't think that's why. I don't think it was that intentional, especially because it's called, like, Ocean Breeze, so it's not supposed to. But, yeah, no, that's, um... That's what I'm getting. That is 100% what I'm getting. So, uh... It's weird. It's a little weird. Uh, the scent, again, did not last all day. Uh, they go on the whole thing about how it's supposed to be, like, you know... The kind of thing that's attractive so you would expect it to be strong and you know last for a while it doesn't uh i can usually kind of sort of start realizing it's fading about i'd say maybe an hour or so after you use it maybe two if you're you know if you're not doing a lot if you're just kind of taking it easy then yeah maybe but even then that's that's not a huge thing and i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's so dry like there's just nothing to it you know it, it, it's very dry it's uncomfortable uh the moments of using it are okay it definitely gets a lot stronger once you're in the shower which is unfortunate because it's a very small space but yeah no it's uh it it really is not I have to say, much like the last one, my, my rating stays at about... I'll give this one a 3.5 because it smells better than the last one. I, I will go that far. Uh, it does smell a lot better. Of course, it just smells like suntan lotion, so that's about a 3, maybe a 3.5. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty basic. It's not really that amazing. Um, it still has the problem with dryness. Uh, it still doesn't last very long. And... That's about it. It's it's pretty much just the same as the other one, only a different smell. They didn't do anything different between any of them because I expect, you know, I expect the ones that are supposed to be like sequels, quote unquote, of each other to share a lot of similar things, but it really just kind of feels like they use the exact same formula to make every single bar of soap and then just put different scents to them. But like nothing else so there it does not feel like there's any difference between them um which is weird like why wouldn't you you know i don't understand but to, to put this in context i want you to remember that each one of these bars is like ten dollars uh individually in fact i will double check right now yeah yeah i mean this is euros that it has for me so it's right around ten dollars uh but, yeah, no, that would be, you know, around that for that. To, to put that in contrast, uh, one of my favorite places, if you're going to buy soap online, um, is from a wonderful friend of the show, uh, Teeny Cow, who has an Etsy shop, who inversely can sell bars of soap for, like, a fraction of that cost. Like, I think... 
think they're like I'd have to double check, but I don't think they exceed more than like five or six dollars. And they're a thousand times better. Uh, they're made with much better ingredients. Um, they're naturally moisturizing. They're more like, you know, made from more natural ingredients too. So they're actually just kind of like generally better. And Teeny Cow offers a lot better stuff. You know, like, like there's always other things. There's different kinds of soap. There's also like knitted projects. And yeah, like I'm, I'm basically going to this comparison just because they are someone I know. So that's it. There's there's no like promotion here. This is just someone I know who I can actually kind of make the connections to. Uh, but I wanted to specifically draw in a connection to someone else who sells soap products online specifically to compare to this, which is again, a soap product online. And this is not nearly the same. This is not nearly as good. Uh, theirs is, it's not the same size bar. But it's usually like a like it's like a little hockey puck, which is honestly a lot easier to use. Uh, the brick is the best way I can describe how a tactical soap is. It is just a big, rough-hewn brick of soap. Like, yes, I know that making soap it comes out in like these kind of, you know, big pieces, and they kind of shape them. Uh, once you know you're at that point, Dove bars don't automatically come out in that little weird bean shape, obviously, but there is no... This does not feel like there was any kind of shaping. It just feels like they made a raw plank of this stuff and just cut it. And that's it. And it's very, very basic. Uh, meanwhile, you know, cutting back to our friend Teeny Cow, uh, this is more, like, ergonomic to the hand because it's round, it's nicer, it lasts a pretty good while, and it's fantastic. Like, I will admit this. I've used the soap everywhere except uh, my face. I refuse to use it on my face because I have sensitive skin and stuff on my face. I won't, but I absolutely would use Teeny Cows. And the main reason I wouldn't use tactical soaps is because it's so dry. And I already have sensitive skin on my face. That's why, like, shaving is like a thing. I have to use all this sensitive stuff. So I would not recommend this to somebody who has sensitive skin. Uh, this is making me dry out and it's uncomfortable. It's really itchy. And if you have that kind of thing, like, no, 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 not at all. This is not made for you. Um, it would absolutely agitate that. So don't, yeah, no, I can't, I just can't. I can't advocate for that. So other than that, like, as a soap, it's okay. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, the smells are a little weird, but it's not the worst thing in the world, you know? But that's it for episode two, everybody. I can't believe I'm making episodes about soap. This, this is what you paid for. This is the quality content you guys, you know you came here for. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't feel so bad about the audio fuck-ups if, if that's the case. Because it is a video about soap, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I have a Ko-Fi, and I have a merch store, but I don't sell soap, oddly enough. I should, but I don't. Because I don't know how to make soap. I also have a subreddit where you can send me stories and anything else, pictures, fan art. I have a Discord server. A lot of people don't seem to know much about that, but it's actually in the description below this video with everything else. And uh, every Saturday there's a live stream, so if you want to come talk to me directly while I do incredibly stupid things on the internet, you know, that's an option. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.